What's going on, y'all? Check it out. Today, we doing black cornish in We gonna get into that air fryer. It's gonna be beautiful and tasty. So, let's go ahead and give you a rundown of the seasonings that we gonna use. And hey, you know what time it is. Let's get it. So yeah, y'all, these are the seasonings you gonna need. We gonna start off with that cayenne, that cayenne, yeah. Some garlic powder, some mustard powder, some parsley, some onion powder, some paprika, and some basil, yeah. That's our season, man. That's our season. So let's go ahead and cut up this cornish hen. So we gonna go straight down one side of that backbone, and then we gonna get the other. But y'all seen this before. We done did this many times. And oh yeah, don't forget, we gotta get that backbone out. We gotta have that for stock, y'all. But once we get that backbone out, we gonna go ahead and drain them, and we gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes. So we gonna come in with a teaspoon of brown mustard, a half a tablespoon of garlic powder, Half a tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, that cayenne, yeah, that cayenne, a tablespoon of parsley, dried, and a tablespoon of oregano. Now we're gonna take this and give it a good mix. Mixing it in that butter, and that butter may not be enough, but that's okay. Cause I didn't want to use all butter, y'all. I wanted to use half and half. Half butter, half olive oil. Now you can use all butter. You know it's just gonna raise the calorie count. That's all. So we're gonna come in with a little olive oil. About two tablespoons. I didn't measure it, y'all, but just on sight, about two tablespoons. And that's gonna bring that seasoning mix all the way together. Now let's go ahead and brush it off. Make sure you get it over every piece of that chicken, y'all. On that skin, on the inside, everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. Once you get it coated good, it's time for that air fryer, y'all. Now we set it at 375 degrees. And we set it 30 minutes, but mine only cooked for 20. Make sure you use your temperature probe, y'all. 165 for the perfect cooked chicken. Every time, y'all. Every time. But anyway, after it came up to temp, this is what we got, y'all. This is what we got. No flipping required. Don't flip it, y'all. So yeah, y'all. With mine, I had some mashed potatoes. They had a little cheese with, you know, cheesy mashed potatoes. Everybody like cheesy mashed potatoes. I don't know too many people don't like cheesy mashed potatoes. Always tasty. I had some green beans. But yeah, just for an update on wiping. She went on and got her stitches out today. You know, we still got a long road ahead of her. You know, she can't really walk, so. It is what it is. But here go our Cornish hen. 
Take that bad boy out, child. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that corner. Damn. Yeah, other than that, wife you all right. She doing good. She said, hey, everybody. You know. This is what it is, you know. We got to work through it. And we will get through it. Because it ain't nothing but a thing, y'all. Ain't nothing but a thing. But anyway, I enjoyed this black and chicken. It's really tasty. The seasoning is popping just right. Corn and green beans going together just good. And like I said, you can't go wrong with it. Cheesy mashed potatoes, so good. you know what time it is. Love, peace, and keep it grilling, y'all. See you.